Okay, so <clears throat> I am going to show you how I personally create my ringtone or text tone for my iPhone. So the first thing that I do is I go to my iTunes and I put in the specific song that I would like to use. And then I go to, I right click on it and I go to get info. And you're going to want to click on options and you'll go here. So you'll put the start time for the tone and the stop time for the tone that you would like to use. So it would be like your favorite part of the song or whatever. And these will automatically be checked once you put these in, these times in. So then you press OK and you go right back to the song and you right click again. This time you're going to scroll down to where you go to create AAC version. So just click on that. I don't know what it means, but that's what you have to do. So now that these both have been created, you're going to go to the next step. So if you have a MacBook, then um, you may be familiar with GarageBand. Um, if it's not already on your dock, you can always go up here and search for it. So um, that's what I did. So basically, let's pull that up. And you're going to click on iPhone ringtones. You're going to make sure that this is selected. And you're going to click choose. And this is where you can name your folder, whatever you'd like to name it. So this is going to happen and eventually this will come up. Alright, so once you have this up, you'll go down here and you're going to make sure that this says time. Then you're going to want to make sure that this is selected and make sure it's blue. And then right here, this icon should also be selected. So, yeah. Alright, so this is your entire, or my entire iTunes library. Um, I'm going to type in the song and you'll see the obvious difference and know that this is what you need to drag over for this next step. Alright, so this is orange and it has the title and you just drag it over here to the left and I would also suggest making sure these are muted because here I'll show you what it sounds like if you don't already know So it has all this background stuff which I think sounds horrible because I don't use GarageBand and I don't want to manipulate anything. So um, I'm going to mute these and I'm basically done with GarageBand. The next step is going to share and send ringtone to iTunes. Yeah, I'm aware you did not have to listen to the whole thing, but I just wanted to show you how it fades at the end of that tone. I think that's nice for a ringtone because I don't want my ringtone or text tone to just stop abruptly. So right now what I would do is just delete this. I mean you don't have to, but I don't need it, so I'm going to delete this for me. And also right click, get info, and then put this to its original state so that if you want to listen to the song in your iTunes, it will be the full song. Next thing, you're going to go to Tones, and boom, there you go. This is what you just created. Um, then you can name it whatever you'd like it to name it. I can delete this because I already have that song here. Um, so I'll just delete that since I'm here. And my iPhone is not attached but um, it's not synced so basically if it was you just go here this is my iPod but you know you click here 
you go to tones and um, it's not showing up because it's on my iPhone but it will show all the tones that you've made um, and you can select it and then sync it I actually don't know why this is showing up because I don't use that anymore but here that's it though I hope it was pretty straightforward and easy and have a great day thanks